Hello everyone, this is Evil Graham 93 and I've uh, got another movie review for you. Well, it's not a movie review as such, it's a film that everyone would have seen and all the horror fans would have seen, but it's just mainly the uh, review on the release of the film, to be honest. And um, it is the Evil Dead Book of the Dead edition. So, um, like I said before, everyone knows the Evil Dead. I don't have to go through the story, everyone would have seen the Evil Dead. It's a pretty famous film now. Um, like I said, this is just about the release of this film, so, um, yeah, this is the Anchor Bay Book of the Dead edition, uh, the Region 2 release, um, and it's the full uncut version, which is pretty much the same as this DVD version, which is the Anchor Bay Horror Classics release, this is fully uncut, but, uh, no special features, just the film, but, um, yeah, this is pretty much the same as that release, but this one has a load of special features. Um, well, I say a load, it's got a ton more than that one anyway, so... Um, yeah, special features read out as... Um, you get the widescreen presentation, audio commentary with writer uh, slash director Sam Raimi and producer Robert Tabbert. Uh, audio commentary with star Bruce Campbell. Uh, beyond, uh, beyond the scenes footage and outtakes. Finalysis and all new... 26 minute documentary by Bruce Campbell uh, Discovering Evil Dead an all new feature tracing the film's history from its humble beginnings to legendary status you get theatrical trailer, TV spots poster and still gallery uh, talent bios and language. you get choice of languages either English or French so um, yeah, it's, you get quite a lot of uh, special features on there um, I'll quickly, it's got a um, fairly safe packaging on it, you just take that top bit off, which is cardboard and I've just dropped it, and then pretty much slip it out and that's just it's plastic casing. Um, the book itself is made of like this really rubbery uh, texture, I don't know what it is, it's probably rubber like now I just said, but um, it's really weird to touch, if you can see me there it's really squidgy. But, um, and it smells really bad as well. I don't know what it is, but like it stays on your fingers for ages. Like, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to wash my hands after this because it absolutely stinks. I don't know what material it is, but uh, they've made it look really cool, really good anyway. Um, it's got a bit of protection in it there. Um, yeah, and it just opens up like a book, which is really cool. You get some... Uh, you get a little introduction there by Tom Sullivan who designed the book and you also get his name down there, like a, pretty much like a signature sort of thing, like a piece of art. But um, yeah, you just get uh, some different artwork there. Um, yeah, it's just got a bit that Tom Sullivan um, made the book, designed the book. And you just get a load of artwork that you'd expect to see in the Necronomicon. Um, and that runs in for a couple of pages to about here and you get a blank page and then uh, the Evil Dead on the web got loads of like, fan sites for, for Bruce Campbell and the film what have you you also get the booklet nice thick booklet which is about, pretty much about previous uh, video and DVD releases of the Evil Dead and then turn the page, you get the contents, chapter contents down that page, and you get the film here. And then that's pretty much it. So it's a really nice release to have. Um, I know there's better releases out there now, like the um, one that's in the blue digipack, I think it is. the Is it the Ultimate Edition? I don't know, but I've always liked this release, and I've always wanted to get it. And like I said when I first got it in the um, DVD update, I got it used like new and I have to say it looks pretty much new to me um, I know it's like new but um, sometimes you can get that from sellers that they put used like new it's got massive holes in it but this one is like new there's no rips no tears in it or anything I mean it still had the protection in on the inside so um, it's really really well looked after and there's no smoky smell from it it's just the smell from that rubber but um, yeah, I was really pleased with this. Um, 
I've not got round to watching any of the special features yet, but um, yeah, it's just Evil Dead and really nice to have. And I'll certainly be looking for the Region 1 of um, Evil Dead 2, Book of the Dead. Oh, that one looks even better than this one, to be honest, because it's got the screaming eyeball, so can't go wrong there. Um, yeah, but I think that one goes for like some like 50 quid used or something like that, so... I think I might have to wait for that for that one till I get a decent wage or something. But um Yeah, that was the Evil Dead Book of the Dead edition. Um I hope this video was helpful to anyone. Um I know um there is obviously better releases of Evil Dead out there, but this one's just a really nice release, uh, especially if you uh, have a special edition shelf like I have just here, I'll quickly turn the camera there where I've got my uh, sits on top of the Fantastic Factory Presents Arrow box set uh, well, that was kind of the odd one out there but um, I've got nowhere else to put it and it sits next to the, my reanimator edition with the pen and phantasm sphere so yeah you can't go wrong there it's a really nice addition to have and it fits in nicely on that shelf so um, Thanks for watching, thanks for subbing if you have, and um, I'll see you in my next videos. Bye.